Let's hope the wind doesn't knock the camera off the pedestal here. Hey YouTube, Pipe Lawyer here, coming to you once again on a windy, yet sunshine-filled, warm Friday afternoon. And yes, it means it's time for Friday Night Pipes. And on this 65-degree gorgeous day here, um, this week's MVP is one of the estate pipes that I bought from Red, the owner of, of Tobacco World. And uh, it is a premium Italian brand, uh, samples of which I've been wanting to uh, get myself for quite some time. So when the opportunity arose for me to actually get one, I uh, naturally just jumped at it. Uh, I inspected it. It was in excellent shape for for an estate pipe. In fact, it was. It looked like it looked like it was hardly smoked. And my guess was that uh, the gentleman um, had either uh, passed away uh, shortly after buying the pipe, or for whatever reason, just didn't smoke it that often. Maybe he saved it for like special occasions only. <clears throat> but nonetheless, it is a wonderful pipe. And which pipe am I referring to? Well, of course, it is none other than my estate, Ser Jacopo, Bent Bulldog, or Rhodesian. And as you can see, it's got rustication all around. It's got the ring around the center of the bowl, as is standard for Rhodesians but it's got rustication all around. The pipe is actually a very dark brown, like a reddish brown. It may look black on your screen, but uh, trust me, it's brown. And then the lip of the rim there is smooth, as is the little briar extension there, where it meets up with the uh, shank and the uh, mouthpiece. And the mouthpiece, of course, is a classic saddle style in black. And it's a great smoker, like I said, I mean, this, this gentleman, before he expired, just probably didn't smoke it very often or didn't get a chance to. So, um, I'm happy to do for him what he couldn't do for himself and enjoy this pipe in his, his honor. But, uh, it's a great smoker for a pipe that's not yet, not yet even broken in, it's a great smoker. And I'm breaking it in myself. Let's see if the wind will let me light up here. Very nice. But the travesty of this MVP, which I'm sure will be seen rather as a travesty in the eyes of some, not mine, is the fact that in this rather premium great Italian pipe, I'm smoking an aromatic. Yes. And not just any aromatic, but uh, an, an aromatic from Edwards Pipe and Tobacco Shop. And this aromatic is called Dolphin. Why it's called Dolphin, I have no idea. Uh, doesn't taste like tuna. But uh, to my palate, there's a vanilla Cavendish kind of flavor to it, mixed with a hint, hint of orange. And I guess couple that with the suggestion of its title, you know, Dolphin. It puts me in like a Florida state of mind. You know. That's about as good a guess as I can take. On TobaccoReviews.com, Dolphin was almost universally panned. Being too cloying, too drugstore sweet, too whatever. I like it. You know, but that's just my palate. I, I think it's a very soft, a soft aromatic. I think it's a mild one. It's it's not too too sweet. And if it is, well, you know, sometimes I've got a sweet tooth. So
And there you have it. This week's MVP, the Serge Jacopo Bench Rusticated Rhodesian for your consideration. I'm going to go kick back and enjoy this bad boy. So until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And as always, re remember, I'll present the evidence, but you be the judge. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.